Good morning. Hey, good morning, pumpkin. What you doing? You looked like you were up to something. No? Okay. Yes, Christmas is still set up, and it probably will be for a while. I'm not in a hurry. Christmas is, I need a, I think everybody can relate to sometimes just needing a break from the holidays, and that's what I've been doing. But I am still working on some things. I had talked about this before, months ago. There was a plan in place when I was going to, you know, when I'm bringing in these Adenidia palms. And one of the issues I had talked about with the Adenidias is that they need a lot of water, especially when there's three trunks in each pot takes a lot of moisture to keep them going. But my thinking this whole time has been that I would double pot them. I just need to have something inside to lift them up a little bit. And I have all this leftover floral foam from a video that never came out, I just remembered. December was a weird month. I didn't really do much in the way of YouTube stuff, as I'm sure you all are aware. It's just busy, you know, family time. But I was thinking that I could use this leftover floral foam to just kind of Lift it up a smidge. The whole, well, let me see if it works, and then I'll explain why. <laughs> okay. Kind of works. It's a little bit wonky. I'm going to need a helper to get it in there straight. I just want a little bit of gap in there. So what I was getting ready to say is the entire reason for doing that is, um, let me get this sticker off of here. I'm not, like, with it yet. Oh, I'm sorry. One of those mornings where I've been doing too many things. So I want there to be a little bit of a gap in here, and that's just so that I can run an airline hose in there. I may not even do that. I probably will, though, because I don't want the pot that's on the bottom. I don't want the water to drain through from the adenidia down and then just become nasty and stagnant. So I want there to be some kind of airflow, you know? But I need a basin, because I don't want water all over the floor when I water these guys. They usually use like a five gallon thing when I water each one of these. That'd be 15 gallons of water on the floor. Well, not, I mean, I don't know how much stays in soil and how much would stay, you, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> what are you so mad about? You're not mad anymore. Okay, so a little bit of time has passed. I've allowed myself to wake up a little bit more, hopefully be a little bit more with it. If not, then it's, it's you know, welcome to the channel. Just my brain doing its thing. Off to a rough start. Each time I've picked up the camera to do some filming, something different's happened. Like, well, one, I couldn't talk because I decided to start filming before I was even really awake. And then uh, a little bit of time passed and my parrots, who are in there right now, decided this would be a good time to have really loud, obnoxious parrot um, love making time. It didn't sound very loving to me. I got a drone. That's the whole reason I'm over here and I'm really excited to use it, but there's not much of a reason to use it this time of year. Everything outside's all dead and brown, but look at it. Isn't it cute? The DJI Mavic Mini. I thought that would be a good place to start. The only problem though is I can't even use this on the, no, excuse, no, not right now. Y'all have had your moment. Be quiet. Goodness, I figured they'd be in there laying sideways having a cigarette right now. Anyways, the drone, uh, I can't use it for the channel because according to FAA, you have to have a commercial drone's license to post videos from a drone onto the YouTube channel since the channels are monetized. So, fun, I guess? I've been having fun playing with it. I need to get to learn to use it a little bit better, learn the rules so I can get that license. It's not that big a deal to get the license, but I'm not... I'm not messing around with FAA. And there's already all that stuff going on with FTC. Like, I don't want to have to worry about fines. That's no fun. But it's fun and it's cute. I got the Fly More package, so there's extra batteries and all that fun. It doesn't really matter until I can show it to you. But I've had a good time playing with it. The Amaryllis are all in full swing and bloom. Looking pretty. This one over here is, what's your name? Ambiance. Is the name of this one. I have it in a bulb face, which I was kind of apprehensive about because, you know, amaryllis bulbs rot very easily, but so far it's doing okay. It hasn't rooted out. That's not a great sign. It's been there for a few weeks and nothing's happened, but it's blooming, but I think it might rot. So there's that. I'll make sure to keep everybody updated. And then this one wasn't quite tall enough <laughs> for its vase, as you can see. So that part didn't really work out very well either, but I mean, it still looks really pretty. This is the Red Lion, and apparently there's still a sticker on there. Didn't realize that, but it looks nice in there. I'm not going to show the bottom of it because I'm going to be doing like a craft thing with something like this here in a few weeks, but I like them. The ambiance has really, really tall buds, really tall stems on the flowers, and I think that it looks really pretty. I like it a lot. The uh, Papilio, 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 Papilio? You, you know, P-A-P-I-A, 
L L O. That one is probably one of my all time favorites when it comes to Amaryllis, but um, I didn't put mine into a dormancy, so no blooms this year. But I still think that looks nice. Is anybody bothered by my weird shrimp ornament? I didn't even decorate my tree this year, but I bought the shrimp ornament, and then there's this weird little hermit crab guy. Sometimes I just get ornaments because they look kind of weird and funky. And then there's this mouse creature in here. Don't know. I just thought it was cute because it's weird. I have a thing about weird ornaments. I like them, but I don't want them on my actual Christmas tree. But I like having them in my kitchen. Does that make does anybody else do that? And they were 50% off at Pottery Barn, so you can't really go wrong there. I actually have a tree that I didn't set up this year that has nothing but Brussels sprout ornaments. The Surla Tobs, they're not around anymore, at least not in St. Louis, but they used to have these Brussels sprout ornaments and they went on sale and I bought a whole bunch from so it was just a tree covered in Brussels. It was just to be stupid. Sometimes it's just fun to be dumb. Uh, the there I shouldn't say the point because there's no points to anything at this point, but uh, I think I need to go to Michael's and get some more floral foam so I can get those pots done for the Ed and Idiots because they are very thirsty. Like how four minutes later I'm getting back to the thing I started the video on. Don't mind me, Toby. I do have them intentionally dry. That's because I have to lift them up and put them into those pots. So I've let them get dry so that I can do this. But I can't let that go on much longer. You can tell they're thirsty. See how the foliage is kind of clamped on them? That's not what you want to see. So need to... Let's, let's go do that. Yeah, it sounds like... Yep, fish tank needs water. You guys, high maintenance Oscars. Did I just blame my fish for evaporation? That's not their fault. Okay, talk about a picture perfect moment. Let me take a screenshot. You two, look at you guys hanging out being buds. I know that's not what's happening. It's just a coincidence. You guys are just near each other, but what a fun thing to step out of the bathroom and save. You two are so cute. I know I'm making this into like y'all are friends, but that's, that's not what's happening. Apparently there's construction going on up the hill, which is fine. They're putting in a new wall, but um, I didn't realize that. And I just changed clothes like right over here in this corner. So I'm fairly certain the construction people just saw me naked. So they're having a good day. Don't they know that's Patreon only content? <laughs> just kidding. I'm at Michael's. I don't know why I made it a thing. Like we're going to go in here together because I never vlog. I don't vlog in there very often. I shouldn't say never. It's just really hard to vlog in there. There's a lot of hand here. This must be a nightmare for the people who get annoyed with the hands. There's three of them now. How you like how you like my hands now? I almost said how you like my hand chop. That wouldn't that's inappropriate. Um floral foam and I made sure to park like in between here and Sally Beauty because I keep remembering or forgetting re actually I do re what's my brain just isn't working today. And that's fine. I'm not editing it out. This is just life of vlogging sometimes. Every time I'm near a Sally Beauty, which is all the way, it's over there. This woman probably thinks I'm pointing at her. Every time I'm near one, I keep remembering, oh, I need to go in and get some gloves. They have the nitro gloves. I don't like latex. It smells bad and it makes me itchy. And I just don't go in. So I parked, but this is a bad story. You don't, nobody, this isn't important things. Nobody cares. I got my gloves my goodness the whole time i was in there she was like do you want to sign up for a rewards thing it's like no i always stop in once a year i don't need that i mean i get it i used to work retail required to get people to sign up for things but it was just like non-stop and i was like no girl I told you like three times not interested don't need it oh spring stuff i know it's all fake but it still makes me very happy happy <laughs> okay i got really excited about this but i'm pretty sure it's just moss glued to foam because i was thinking like hey preformed moss wreath can put the succulents on there but not like that that won't work but it's still it's cute stuff in here look at this this is neat i guess i mean it's just a bowl i'm just i'm very easily impressed right now just to see something that's not christmas you know w why do i not have a cart what is wrong with me i didn't get a cart on purpose just have to remember, make good choices. Oh yes, hello, how are you? Okay, these are cute. I don't know why, it's a little bit like buying jeans with holes in them, but I bought some of these on clearance last year, these white ones, actually two years ago, and they held up surprisingly well. So I don't need any more, but it's just, I thought I'd show them. They're cute, but 
not really, because they look dirty. And the thing about Michaels is, like, I don't pretty much ever buy anything here full price because, you know, it's going to go on sale. So maybe another day. Ooh, these are cute. You know what? I cannot vlog while this song's on. But these are cute. I wish that the flower market one, I wish that this one said seed catalog on it because how nifty would it be to be able to actually put your seed catalogs in these? You know, it's that time of year where the seed catalogs are flying in the mail. I have stacks of them all over the place and this would be the perfect place to keep those. I think that would be so nice. But the one that actually says seed catalog on it, definitely not big enough to put actual seed catalogs in. I mean, maybe little ones, but not normal ones. I don't, I don't see that working. Ooh, we can plant things in a bathtub. How about some succulents in a bathtub? That would be cute. Not $12.99? Cute. What the heck? What about this? Is this open? Oh, Everything I see, I'm just like, just jam it full of succulents. Like, look at these little, tiny little Dutch ovens. How cute would that be with some cactus coming out there? It's unnecessary. And again, wait, all spring decor by Ashland, 30%. Hmm. No, I know that's not spring decor, but there were things I was looking at before that... No, there's no signs up for anything? That's, like, this is it. All spring decor, 30% off. Why is that not with the spring decor we were just looking at? I need to do some price checking. Oh, look at the variegation. <laughs> How... Shady would it be for me to put that in my thumbnail. I'm not gonna do it. But it's very tempting. <laughs> I think I found a thumbnail. No, not really. Maybe. Who knows? But that wonder if it's supposed to be a pothos. The problem with variegated fake foliage is it can't all be the same, right? And these are all identical. Like you'd need like probably I'd say three at least different patterns on them for it to look okay. <laughs> I don't, I just, did you hear that? I have to go. I'm not, I can't be around the germs. Must leave. Where are you going? Uh, don't do it, pumpkin. No, no, but that's bad. Okay, good impulse control. <laughs> kind of. I'm home making dinner for the reptiles. It was an abrupt change. A few things have happened. We'll, be, we'll go out to the plant space. We'll talk out there. And no surprise by let's go outside and talk that's, that was supposed to be like a two second transition. It's been about eight hours, because hi, it's me, and it's the, the, everything's going on out here, and I get very easily distracted. I um, took on a, you can't see what I'm doing. Hold on. See, one of the other reasons that I got this pump, which I talked about last week, was not just to drive more air to the little pool pond thing and to the, what, the humidity trays, that's what I'm calling it. I don't know if that was on last week's video, but it's also because, oh, look at that. I have this very large, very unnecessary bubble fountain. Is that what this is called? I don't even know. I don't know what else to call it, so we'll just go with bubble fountain. It takes a lot of air pressure to drive this thing, and the pump that came with this broke years ago. It's from Midwest Tropicals. I contacted them about getting a new pump. It's like three or four hundred dollars for an air pump. And it's like, that, you know what? That's ridiculous. But I tried lots of other cheap, just aquarium air pumps, and they did not have enough pressure to get this thing going. And this new pump does. There's actually bubbles in here. It had gotten kind of gross because it had just been sitting with water in it, and uh, it, there's like algae and all sorts of things in there. So I spent a very long time cleaning it. You can see there's still some muck on there. It's going to be a bit of a process. If it were summertime, what I used to do with these... I had two at one point. What I used to do with them is I would just drain them out, lay them on their sides, and scrub them and use the hose. But I can't really do that because it's like 35 degrees outside. The water's not even running. But so that's just the long answer. Not even an answer. Nobody asked. I, I just, I spent a very long time doing this. So that's what ended up happening with my night, which I'm totally fine with because now I have this up and running again, which I've wanted to get going for a very long time. It's just pretty. There's not a lot of purpose to it. It just looks nice. It makes me happy. It was free. These used to, the Petco's, like the newer, they were new in like, I don't know, 2007, 2008. The stores that put the tanks in the middle of the stores, they had little like compartments. They had two on each side, four all the way around, and they had these fountains in them. And that was very short-lived, probably because replacement parts from Midwest Tropicals are insanely expensive, like the LED light that's under here. 
Well, actually, no, I just have a cheap, like, Chinese LED light on here. But the one that was originally on this broke to replace it. It was going to be, like, $200, which is insane. It's totally unnecessary. Now, the acrylic part of this being expensive, that I can understand because acrylic is pricey. But the parts to maintain them, not so much. So there's still some, like, scrubbing and stuff to do. I put an entire gallon of CLR in this. Like, I drained it down, put that CLR in, and just went to town. I had to use a mop. I got up here. I'm on a ladder. See? I'm on the ladder. Not very safe with my sandals on, but got it done. There's some weird, like, plastic thing in here. I don't know what it is. There's, like I said, more to be done, but I'm very, I'm so happy to have my, my tubes clean and bubbly and sparkly. I might put a brighter light on there. I don't know. Just an update. Nobody cares because you didn't know it was a thing. Just kind of bringing around the full circle aspect of talking about the air pump last week and never really explained why I needed a pump that was so incredibly big and strong. Oh, and okay, the, the tubes on the other side of this, of the plastic wrapped around that. I don't think I ever finished the part with the Petco thing that they've ended up getting rid of those and I, that was free. So that's how I, why I have that. Uh, nothing new out here. No news is good news? Yes, maybe? I think so. Oh, there are kind of some new things, but I can't talk about them just yet. I have a new animal in the family, at least as of right now. So, uh, it was surrendered to me. It's a rescue and needs a lot of TLC. So I am, uh, to an extent, filming that journey with that animal. And if all goes well, then there will be a video on that when it's appropriate. But we're just not quite there yet. I have dropped plenty of hints on my Instagram and it's even been in pictures, but like hidden kind of like a where's Waldo thing. I just haven't said anything. Has anybody noticed? If you have, don't say what you think it is down in the comments. Keep it to yourself for now. The uh, plants. Everyone's good. Things got kind of surprisingly dry out here a few days ago and out of nowhere, like they were just wilty and I had just watered. That's been a weird trend this year that I haven't had to deal with before is just like this random completely random bouts of just extreme thirst that seem to come out of nowhere. I'm a fairly intuitive gardener. I've been doing this for a pretty long time. I can generally tell when my plants need to be watered, but uh, I think that I have so successfully kept the heat up in here that I need to recalibrate my mindset of when to water, because when things are warmer, you need to water more often. And then with the holidays, I just, I wasn't on top of it as much as I should have been, but things are watered now and doing well. Here's a little Poblano update. Nobody ever asks for these, ever, but you get them anyways because I've been so excited about it. The uh, flowers that were on last week, those have come off and I did just rotate this not too long ago, a few days ago, so the angle's a little bit different, but you can kind of see, maybe can kind of see <laughs> if the lighting would behave. Come on camera, there we go. Sort of. Yeah, it looks like they're actually going to fruit and open, which I wasn't expecting at all. I didn't think that that would happen in sight, especially under these lights, but that should be interesting because this is not a very big plant. So we'll see what that looks like with poblano peppers hanging from it. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a little bit out there. This guy, the Persian Shields, Look at it. Or her. That doesn't need to be defined. The foliage is very different under the artificial lighting. There's a little bit of sunlight that comes in through the window, but the primary source of light for this and pretty much all these on the shelf is from the LEDs above it. But that foliage is really opened up and it's looking nice. But like I said, such a crazy difference between how this looks indoors versus out. And I think a lot of that's just because when it's outside, that more direct intense sun the foliage gets a little bit more vibrant. Colors and foliage can be very different under natural sun versus artificial light. And that's partially because sometimes the pigmentation in the foliage is actually a defense from too much sun. So when they're inside under these lights, under just like cheap little LEDs that aren't a high output and very low wattage, they don't really need to be having that defense up. So I still think it looks really pretty and the foliage is still pretty immature too. 
Who knows what that's going to look like in a few weeks. I'm thinking this peperomia is due for a repot. This is the variegated obtusifolia. It was in a video last year, which is crazy to say. Can't believe it's 2020 already. This is one of those plants where I'm just like, okay, I water you and you're still thirsty. I water you and you're still thirsty. And that's a really good indication of when a plant needs to be repotted. So that's something I'm going to get on top of here pretty soon. I'm trying to like make a list of all my repots so I can make sure I have all my soil things down correctly. The staghorn fern, I'm just going to give this a soak because that's, this is beyond just like pouring water into it. It just, it needs to just hang out in some water for a few minutes. And by a few minutes, I mean potentially maybe like an hour. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, that this one might be permanently damaged. I don't know how that happened. Like I said, I've been watering just, I guess not heavy enough during that time when my family was in town. I must've been watering enough though, cause there's a new frond opening up back here on the Australian tree fern. So I would not be doing that if it were really thirsty. So maybe things are extra drafty over there. I don't know. I would say that that's a pretty good sign that it, <laughs> if this bounces back, which it should, I mean, this they're pretty sturdy plants that I should probably move it somewhere else. I'll probably move it down lower so it's not up as high. There's a little bit more airflow up there. That top shelf, which is, you can't see, but that top shelf is where the succulents are because the air is a little bit more dry. The airflow is higher. I, mean, I just said it, you know what I'm saying. And I also just realized that in order for me to start working on my terrariums, I have to get my counters cleaned off inside. So I guess I will have to put my Christmas stuff away. I was gonna wait a couple weeks, but that's okay. It's time. Most people wait till the new year. It's like two days past that. So I'll do that next week, I guess. I don't really want to, but it'll be necessary to start getting some of these things potted up. These syngoniums, man, speaking of having trouble keeping things hydrated, these tiny little pots there, these got a full on water yesterday. Just look at, look at how sad and dry they are. Poor little guys, they need a soak too. Where's my watering can? Those have all had a nice little watering. These are all from Josh's Frogs. I was going to do a haul back when I was thinking about maybe doing Vlogmas and decided not to for a lot of reasons. And it, for some reason, they don't label their plants. I don't know what that's about. I mean, it's, I know like this is the Exolus that I ordered. And then I know, uh, you know, it's about the super dwarf Syngoniums. But the others, they could have put a label on them. I've had them for quite a while, so they're starting to get more distinct coloration on them. But when they came in, it's mostly just really these three right here. Did I just do four? Three. <laughs> these three right here. This guy over here is more distinct. But you can see, looking at these, when they came in, their foliage was more pale and there wasn't, there just wasn't much to look at. There weren't many differences. So I was like, why would you not? Label your plants. So when I took the tape off of them, I made sure to leave a strip on the front so I can go through my uh, invoice and get those labeled because what the, why? Isn't that dumb? Label your plants. That was weird to me. I don't understand that. Just, it's not hard to do. Put a sticker on them. I don't know, or at least number them so that like according to the invoice, it's a little bit easier to keep up with what's what. That would be nice. But I mean, overall, the plants did come in looking fine. They've just, you know, they've had some growing pains from shipping. I placed that order during the, uh, what was it called? That like polar store. It was really cold out. They were wrapped in bubble wrap. There was a heat pack. It, they, they seem okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't have a lot to say about it other than here are the plants that I got and they were from Josh's Frogs. That's pretty much it. I really just wanted the little guys and they had all the others. So I was like, yeah, okay, why not? Ordered them. And now here I am with a whole bunch of extremely thirsty plants. And the Oxalis, should I, do you think, maybe put that into a dormancy? It just doesn't seem like a strong enough plant to move into a dormancy there's just not a lot going on here but typically they would rest during the winter time yes maybe one of the reasons that it's looking so limp and just kind of lifeless and dull is because it could use a winter rest i'm not sure i'm gonna do a little bit of reading up on that because the oxalis i have kept them in the winter months as a house plant and they've done great but then summer comes around, I move my houseplants outside and it gets to be 100 degrees and then they die because they don't like that. There's different varieties. This one, whatever it was, couldn't tell you because it's not labeled and I don't have the invoice in front of me. It is supposedly a more heat tolerant variety. 
I don't know. We'll see. It actually, it's been pretty toasty out here, and it hasn't gotten wilty yet, whereas these other guys, they've had a few moments, as you can see from the foliage. Yeah, not everything's always perfect. I, I don't know what to tell you. Did everybody have a good New Year's? A good time? I haven't really do anything much. I haven't been into New Year's in quite a long time, particularly, like, just resolutions. I don't know. I don't really get into that. I just if want to change something and work on it <laughs> whenever you need to. It doesn't have to be a, like, once a year thing. This hoe is just... It seems so dramatic, the way that thing pumps to get this mist out. Oh, I installed a rain system, which isn't complete yet, but we'll talk about it when it's done. I haven't been using it a ton because you only want so much water on your foliage. It can be problematic if there's too much, but I'm mostly actually using it just for the pump because I'm going to run drip line to some plants that are a little bit further back and tucked away in other places that are typically a little bit harder to get to and harder to give deep waterings to. So it'll just make things a little bit easier, particularly for like the croton that's stuck back there and the big croton that's back behind the monstera. That's a pretty shot. Oh, you're so pretty. Love those fenestrations. Yes, shorter video. The, this vlog and probably next week's vlog will be a little bit shorter. I'm still on vacation. I took the first two weeks of January off. I'm like, I'm not doing much of anything. I wasn't even sure if I was going to vlog, but I enjoy it. I like catching up with everybody and talking, so I thought I'd bring everybody along for just a little bit of fun, random nonsense. So yeah, there'll still be a video uh, next week. I mean, I kind of, honestly, I miss editing and making videos, so I don't really know how much of a full-on, like, vacation I'm going to take from the internet. Sometimes I like to just sort of clear my mind from social media and just keep a distance for, like, I don't know, a week or two. I like to do it a couple times a year, and it's been a week, and it's been nice, but I kind of, I sort of, I miss it a little bit. It's nice not being attached to your phone and devices. That I really like, but... Like I said, I really do like making videos and editing, and I just I haven't been doing it because I forced myself to not. <laughs> sometimes I've enjoyed that, and sometimes it's been a bit of a struggle. There will at least be a vlog next week. Maybe there will be something during the week. I don't know yet. But after that, be getting back into the full swing of things, which it's been a minute. It's been a few months, but get back into you know, doing plant videos. I'm excited about that. Hope everybody's doing well. Everything's going wonderfully and life's just beautiful for you. Don't forget to like the video. It makes a huge difference for the videos and for the channels and I appreciate it and thank you for it. And subscribe as well and hit that notification bell. Upload multiple times a week and that way you know when new videos come out. Comment down below. Say hi. I love talking to everybody. What were your resolutions? Anybody like maybe don't let plants dry out and die? That'd be a great resolution, wouldn't it? And no, I'm not I'm not ashamed of this. It's not great. It's a little bit embarrassing, but anybody who's been keeping plants for a while, we all have these moments where you have something and you forget to water it. It's just kind of nature of the beast. Doesn't happen often, but sometimes it does. And uh, there have been plenty of times, I know, I've warned from experience where I'd be like, hey, this plant looks beautiful on this shelf. And then guess what? That shelf's hard to get to, and that plant does not get taken care of the way that it should. So, yes, now I keep things typically where they're much easier to get to. I've learned from theirs and my ways. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a lie. It'll happen again. I'm human, and like I said, it's just unfortunately kind of part of it. It's it, it just, you know, oops. Yeah, show me a gardener or a horticulturist that hasn't killed a plant that doesn't exist. They're not out there. Okay, well, I hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, great life, and everything's just going beautifully for you. That wasn't the right timing. See, I'm rusty. As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye! Bye!